Hello everyone, welcome to part 37 of ReactJS tutorial with Laravel for beginners. And in this video, we are going to create user shopping cart page on our React app. Okay, so uh, let's start. Uh, see, in the last video, we able to create the card API. I am going to check the card API. I am going to check here the cards table first of all, and we'll see uh, if there are any products. Are there no products? Are there? So I am going to add one of the product. I am going to log in. Uh, first of all with any of the user id like amit hundred zero of yoffmail.com one two three four five six okay i'm going to log in uh, on our rec tab and we'll add here uh, product uh, click on shop and then uh, any of the category uh, then we can able to add one of the product here and here you can see uh, select site is coming here okay i'm going to add this size okay and uh, there is one issue that we are going to resolve here uh, in the card API that we have created last time in API controller we have added the card function okay and here uh, here we have sent the uh, item ID uh, to fetch the uh, discounter price okay but here we need to send the product ID okay I want to show you that this discounter price goes in the product model uh, where we have fetched uh, the, uh, the discount price from the product ID okay so I'm going to uh, have uh, such here here you can see that here the uh, product id is required instead of the card id okay so we are required to add here product id product underscore id okay so that we need to do and also we will uh, not use array we will just use the json request so i will remove this uh, two array uh, sorry yeah i'm going to remove this two array and we'll just use the get here uh, so i'm going to check once after adding this product in card uh, i am going to check once uh, like uh, we click on checkout and the product successfully added in card so we can uh, we have reached the card page though we are not able to see any of the product that we are going to add the functionality uh, but here you can see that we able to add the product in the card table okay so now we uh, we want to show the products added into the card here in the uh, uh, card here in the card page of the rec tab we are going to show these products in the same way like we are showing in the website okay uh, so we are going to call that api uh, that uh, uh, the api that we have created in the last video api uh, slash card uh, slash uh, the api that is based on the user id to get the uh, items of the particular user okay here this is the api that we have created the last time okay so this is the get api uh, for getting the products of the uh, user uh, products that are uh, that the user added to his card okay so we are going to call this api uh, in the card component okay so we are going to modify the card component here that we have created in the last video uh, here is the card component that we have created in the last video so we are going to call the a new api that we have created in the last video uh, here to show the products that added by the user okay so uh, but before that uh, we will also modify uh, the uh, here the card link uh, wherever we have used that link uh, here uh, we have used uh, i'm going to see login to checkout proceed okay uh, go upward here here we are going to add here see we have added only the card uh, link so far but we have not added uh, but we need to add the id as well uh, user id as well okay so user id we are getting here you can see we uh, able to get the user id here uh, from this user okay we can able to get the user id as well okay this user id so this user id we will uh, simply pass here uh to the card component okay so we will pass it like this user id equal to plus user id like this okay so we are going to do it like this user id we are going to pass to the card component and now in the card component we are going to modify this component and we are going to call uh the uh, products uh, that uh, api card api in the same way like we have uh, done in the listing component okay so these uh, uh, these classes we require so we are going to copy these classes and we'll paste here all the classes we require here and also 
uh, we require uh, to fetch the products are also we require here search params co uh, constant variables we require all this and also we require this uh, to fetch data and use effect so i'm going to copy this all and we'll paste here will paste here inside because we will not add all the functionality again just we are required to make changes with the card api here instead of listing uh, here it will come the card and instead of use url it will come the user id okay so it will become the same uh, like this one api slash card and then the user id okay so 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 that we can able to fetch the products of that particular user uh, who added the products in card okay so rest of the things will remain the same uh, so once we have added this one then uh, once again in return uh, we are going to add uh, this return uh, complete uh, we are going to modify this complete here div here as well as we are going to uh, show the products here okay so only minor changes we need to do as we are using the same uh, products json okay we have created the same products json in cars api last time so we can easily uh, add this here and then we can make changes like we are going to show here shopping cart first of all okay after adding shopping cart then products map dot object will remain the same after that uh, uh, here uh, see here we can uh, see product object then uh, here we can see it will come inside the product so better way is to, i'm going to copy this one uh, and uh, paste in json lint a, there is a website jsonlint.com here i'm going to paste this json to have the better uh, to view the better json see now it converts it to the better json that we can able to uh, easily identify that which thing uh, we need to copy okay so see here uh, here the uh, id is fine it's come under products okay uh, so after that uh, product name product name comes under product so i'm going to copy this one and we'll paste here it will come under product so product then product name okay after that uh, then for product image as well we are going to add here see it come under product as well so we will add here a product and then product image so in the same way uh, see final price final price also come under product so we are going to add here the product and then final price okay like this we are going to modify this one uh, so now it seems to be fine other than this uh, we will also add some style to the image uh, to have the uh, less width for the uh, image here uh, so we are going to add here width and uh, we will add here the width like uh, 150 pixel is enough so we are going to add it like this and also uh, see instead of h3 we will add here the h4 as this is the shopping cart and uh, price we can add like h5 okay like this these changes we can make so i'm going to check now uh, see uh, we are going to refresh but here uh, it must cur, uh, come the id so i'm going to check out once again see product already exists in card so i'm going to add some other product this time so i'm going to man and we'll add some other t-shirt this time okay i'm going to add this blue t-shirt this time and uh, we'll click on checkout see products successfully added in card and we will redirect her to the shopping card page and here you can see that we able to add two of the products here in the shopping card and both the products are coming in our card in the same way like we used to show the products in website and this is the shopping cart for our app in which the user can able to see the products okay we can inspect this one to see in a mobile view and uh, we can check in mobile view that how it will look and here you can see it looks uh, the same way like we have added in the last video okay uh, so like we able to see the listing products okay so it uh, looks in the same way also uh, we can add here uh, one close icon okay so so that uh, uh, one delete uh, delete button we are going to add so that the user can able to delete the item the uh, uh, and also we are going to add here the uh, checkout button okay so uh, first of all i'm going to add the uh, delete icon here okay so like close icon close icon bootstrap i'm going to search going to open the website any of the website 
and here you can see this cross i'm going to copy this one and we'll add here uh, somewhere we can add okay see uh, here uh, so that we can able to delete the item that the user can able to delete whatever item he wants to delete okay so now we can uh, able to see here the delete icon has come up and also we are going to add the uh, some checkout button like uh, the proceed button that we are having here so in the same way i'm going to copy here and we'll paste this button here and i'm going to place it uh, after loop okay uh, then i'm going to add here the checkout button okay like this so uh, now see uh, i'm going to have uh, some uh, view it like this so you can see the checkout button is coming fine okay so now uh, we can able to add the uh, checkout button here as well uh, okay so you can able to see uh, this checkout button uh, that is coming after these products uh, so let me see in a uh, desktop view okay you can see uh, the products are coming with the uh, with the delete icon and also with the checkout okay once the user review the product that these are the products that he added in his card he can able to click on checkout once he finalized he can able to click on checkout then form will come uh, of the delivery address in the same way like we have added in website okay so that the user can fill his delivery address and can finally place the order okay and in the next video we are going to create uh, the api to delete the card items okay so that thing we are going to do in the next video uh, okay, so please stay tuned for the next video. That's all for now. Have a nice time. Goodbye.